What's up guys, my name is Dichronic, your host in this Call of Duty Extinction tutorial today. Today's video is going to be on the improved ultimate uh, camping strategy for teeth, getting about 4 teeth per hour. This is the improved version. All the questions that you guys had, and all the little information that you told me, like hard mode, uh, casual, relics, and all these weird things and stuff, I tried it all out in this video, and I'm going to be letting you know all the new information that I've found and the best way to do it, as well as I'm going to explain a little bit more on the different parts because I did not do that very well last time. Anyways, the strategy is basically the same as last time. All you have to do is put the game on casual, and I know a lot of you guys in the comments say put it on hardcore or add some relics to it, and this is just not true. No way does putting it on hard or adding any difficulty modifiers change the amount of teeth it required for getting the kills for teeth. This strategy works on the fact that you get a certain amount of kills, which is about 600. I'm pretty sure of that by now. I have tested as many times. Every 600 kills, you get a teeth tooth even uh, and this is how this strategy works hardcore and relics do not affect this anyways for the loadout in this ultimate camping strategy the most important part is the sentry gun because you're gonna be using this thing to basically do most of the work for you and you get to shoot every once in a while the next thing I say is bring normal ammunition uh, you can bring specialty ammo but in all honesty uh, these guys still die uh, two bullets every time no matter what ammo you have on casual and it really just doesn't matter what ammo you bring it's just better to bring the normal ammo because you can get 70% with one of the upgrades on it and the last thing I say is bring weapon specialists because everything else is really pretty useless at that point and it's really not that worth it. Everything else can be left up to you. Uh, you don't really use any of the other ones, so I recommend just ride shield so you can just put it on your back in case you uh, want to sit in the corner for a while. And uh, everything else is just really up to you, and that's all there is to it. So basically, this strategy is uh, going to be on point of contact. All you have to do is destroy the first three hives. That is the one that you spawn at, and two more uh, on this strategy. It, this basically works on the fact that if you destroy that last hive, that fourth hive, uh, you have to start. Uh, the helicopter will arrive, and the barrier hive will start getting attacked when that starts getting attacked the scorpions will start spawning and of course when that goes down the have the potential of spawning rhinos so what you want to do is just leave that hive and uh, basically work on the fact that the aliens will continue to spawn really really fast and just keep coming at you as much as physically possible and uh, you basically just sit here for hours and hours on and getting teeth tooth after tooth so when you've actually destroyed all three hives you should have six points by then or if you're starting with an extra skill point seven uh, in my case what you want to do is upgrade the turret three times that's one point one point then two points to get the plus 30 percent ammo and the armor piercing rounds and then put your last two points in one in the ammunition and one in the weapon specials class and if you have that seventh point i recommend putting it again in the uh, ammunition you can also alternatively put it into the pistol if you think you'd be using that uh, a lot, especially if you just want to put on relics uh, to get more experience. And the last thing I want to say today is that you actually, where you need to stand is back here in the spawn area. It's going to be all the way back here. You just put your turret up. It doesn't really matter uh, where your turret is. I find that the turret actually, the best spot is way in the back to the right uh, on the road facing up. Just because I feel like uh, when the aliens are farther away, it doesn't have to turn as much. And it actually uses a lot less ammo and thus stays up for longer. It's kind of like a science thing. I kind of timed it back and forth. And I believe that that is the best spot for the spawning and the fact that the ammo uh, does does run out on the turret. So to recap, all you have to do is put it on casual, put it on point of contact with the loadout of the sentry gun, the normal ammo, and the weapon specialist perk. Then you all you have to do is destroy the first three hives. Oh, at those points, you put three upgrades on the sentry, one on the ammo, and one on the weapon specialist. And all you have to do is just, after you're killing those three hives, just sit back here in the spawn with your sentry gun and just continually kill aliens uh, until you get enough tooth teeth for whatever you want. Uh, another thing to note is that you can just leave the game. You do not have to finish, and you do not get a tooth for completing it on casual. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any more comments and things you'd like to say, like you think the quad rotor is better or all that stuff, uh, leave them down in the comments down below. I'd love to read them, and uh, I'd love to make more videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.